Chào tất cả các bạn, chào mừng các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh học IELTS cùng ALS Thầy là Huy Listening là một kỹ năng khó với hầu hết tất cả học sinh Việt Nam Bản thân thầy cũng đã từng cảm thấy rất hoang mang khi giai đoạn đầu được nghe listening Nhưng đa phần không hiểu nội dung của các đoạn hội thoại tiếng Anh Cuối cùng sau một thời gian tham khảo nhiều tài liệu, phương pháp học và thầy cũng tìm được cho mình cách luyện nghe hiệu quả nhất Các bạn hãy cùng thầy đến với bài luyện nghe listening test ngày hôm nay nhé You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions. And you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. Write all of your answers in the listening question booklet. At the end of the real test, You will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1 of your booklet. Section 1. Listen to the telephone conversation between a student and the owner of a paragliding school and answer the questions 1 to 7. Now you have some time to read questions 1 to 7. Hello. Paraglider's Paradise. How can I help you? Oh, hi. I'm interested in doing a course in paragliding. Which course are you interested in? Well, I'm not sure. What's available? We... we've got the introductory course, which lasts for two days. Okay. Or there's the four-day beginner's course. There's also the elementary pilot course, which takes five to six days, depending on conditions. We might try the beginner's course. What sort of prices are we looking at? The introductory is $190. The beginner's course, which is what you'd probably be looking at, is $320. No, sorry, $330. It's just gone up. And the pilot course is $430. Right. And you also have to become a member of our club so that you're insured. That'll cost you $12 a day. Everyone has to take out insurance, you see. Does that cover me if I break a leg? No, I'm afraid not. It's only third party and covers you against damage to other people or their belongings, but not theft or injury. You would need to take out your own personal accident insurance. I see. And what's the best way to get to your place? By public transport, or could we come by bike? We're pretty keen cyclists. It's difficult by public transport, although there is a bus from Newcastle. Most people get here by car, though, because we're a little off the beaten track. But you could ride here, okay? I'll send you a map. Just let me take down a few details. What's your name? Maria Gentle. And your address, Maria? Well, I'm a student staying with the family in Newcastle. So it's care of... Care of Mr. and Mrs. MacDonald. Like the hamburgers? Yes, exactly. MacDonald. The post office box address is probably best. It's P.O. Box 2492, Newcastle. Is there a fax number there? Because I could fax you the information. Yes, actually, there is. It's 0249, that is for Newcastle, and then 760412. OK. Now, if you decide to do one of our courses, you'll need to book in advance and to pay when you book. How would you be paying? By credit card, if that's OK. Do you take Visa? Yes, fine. We take all major cards, including Visa, Master and American Express. OK, then. Thanks very much. Now, you have some time to read questions 8 to 10. As the conversation continues, answer questions 8 to 10. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Maria. What's that you're reading? Just some information from a paragliding school. It looks really good fun. Do you fancy goat paragliding? Sure. Do you have to buy lots of equipment and stuff? Not really. The school provides the equipment but we'd have to take a few things along. Such as? Well, it says here, clothes wear stout boots, so no sneakers or sandals, I suppose, and clothes suitable for an active day in the hills, preferably a long sleeve T-shirt. That's probably in case you land in the stinging nettles. It also says we should bring a packed lunch. 
we do not recommend soft drinks or flasks of coffee. Water is really the best thing to drink. We'd also need to bring suntan lotion and something to protect your head from the sun. Okay, that sounds reasonable. And where would we stay? Well, look, they seem to operate a campsite too, because it says here that it's only ten dollars a day to pitch a tent. That'd be fine, wouldn't it? And that way we'd save quite a bit because even a cheap hotel would cost money. Um, or perhaps we could stay in a bed and breakfast nearby. It gives a couple of names here we could ring. I think I might prefer that. Hotels and youth hostels would all be miles away from the farm, and I don't fancy a caravan. No, I agree. But let's take a tent and pray for good weather. Okay, let's do it. What about next weekend? No, I can't. I'm going on a geography field trip. And then it's the weekend before exams, and I really need to study. Okay then, let's make it the one after the exams. Fine, we'll need a break by then. Can you ring and? This is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two. Section two. You will hear a phone conversation giving information about a health and fitness centre. Before you hear the talk, you have some time to look at questions eleven to sixteen. Now, listen carefully to the first part of the talk, and answer questions eleven to sixteen. Hello. Hello. Is that Miss Heidi Jones? Yes. Good morning, Miss Jones. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to tell you about the Seven Oaks Health and Fitness Centre, which is in your suburb. Would that be convenient? Okay. Well, the centre's not far from you. It's on the corner of Marion Street and Giles Street, and has a large car park. It's open every day of the week. Opening on weekdays at 6 a.m. and at 9 a.m. at the weekend. It closes at 9:30 p.m. Monday to Friday, and on Saturday at 4 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. We also have childcare Monday to Saturday from 9 in the morning until midday for a small extra charge, so you can leave your children in safe hands while you attend one of our classes, or perhaps have a swim. Or if you just want to relax in the spa and sauna or steam room. Talking of classes, we have a very wide range which are designed to suit all different levels of fitness and individual needs. I mentioned the pool just now. Well, in addition to swimming laps or just relaxing, we also offer aqua aerobic classes, which are 45-minute classes that use the therapeutic effects of water. This provides a very safe and effective exercise, and is suitable for all fitness levels, as well as being a lot of fun. Many people who haven't been exercising for a while start in the aqua classes, as do people who need to take care after hospital surgery, for example. These classes are very popular and are scheduled every weekday. Monday to Friday, and on Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. Another very popular activity in the pool area is learning to swim, and these swimming classes are held at 4 p.m. every weekday, and in the mornings at the weekend. By the way, they're open to both adults and children of any age. Before the talk continues, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Now, as the talk continues, answer questions seventeen to twenty. Now, it would take too much of your time to tell you in detail about all our programs, as we have a very wide range of activities at different times. However, I'll just outline some of them. Our super circuit classes are extremely popular, and you get a good aerobic workout while toning your muscles. They're easy to learn, as you combine using hydraulic equipment with exercises guaranteed to give you a good cardio workout. The teachers are very good, and there's a fun atmosphere. 
and the classes are very effective in assisting weight loss, relieving stress, lowering blood pressure and generally increasing fitness. Oh, and I haven't mentioned our range of aerobic and step classes of different types which suit all levels. Our specially designed aerobics room holds over 55 people and our highly qualified and trained staff can advise you as to which class might suit you. We are inviting you to a free one week trial period when you can come and try any of the classes or activities before you make the decision to join. By the way, there is also a large and very well equipped gym where we offer free fitness assessments and you can have an individual program designed just for you. Also, the cardiovascular room has the latest range of machines which help you burn fat, increase your fitness or just warm up. They are very popular as you can forget all about the calorie burning by watching your favourite music videos on TV while you exercise. Right now we have a very special new member joining fee offer which allows two memberships for the price of one, a real bargain. So if you can, bring along a friend who'd like to get fit as well in time for summer. Come along and try us out. You can meet the staff. Try out some of the classes for a week, absolutely free. And then, if you like us, sign up for only $110 each for six months. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the centre and I hope we'll see you there soon, Heidi. I'll put one of our brochures in the mail for you right now. Bye for now. That is the end of Section 2. You have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to Section 3. Section 3. You will hear a female student inquiring about changing her course. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. Hi, my name is Rosanna McLaren. Um, I'm a bit early, but I have an appointment to see the assistant registrar, Andy Matthews, at 10 a.m. Hi, I'm Andy Matthews. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My tutor advised me to come to see you about changing my course. Yes, I've had an email from your tutor, David Vine. Let me just call it up. Here we are. It says, Tutee Rosanna McLaren is on the Wednesday part-time course and wants to change to the distance learning program. Have you any problems with the course itself? Oh no, I love it. I think the course is really worthwhile. The theoretical sessions once a week on Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. are really good. You have two two-hour sessions then? Yes, that's it. And I have to say, I think the practical session from 4 through to 9 in the fashion workshops are also good fun. But I am finding it all very tiring, and it makes me too exhausted for my work on Thursdays and Fridays. You work the other four days of the week? Yes, and some Saturdays. I see. So, what do you want to do? I'd like to change to the program with the distance learning component instead of the Wednesday sessions. Yes, that is a possibility. I see from your tutor, Dr. Vine, that he has no problem with this, but you realise it's possible you'll have a different tutor. Yes, I'm aware of that. It's a shame, because he's a very good tutor. What do I need to do now? First, we just need you to fill in this transfer form and the claim form for the reduction in fees. Oh, I didn't realise it was cheaper. Oh, yes, it's a thousand pounds less a year. It gets even better. Can I start the distance learning programme from now? I don't see why not. I just need to get a signature from your tutor, which should take only a short time. I'll email it to him now, and then he can sign it and put it in the internal mail. OK. But I also need to go through with you what is involved in the distance learning programme to make sure you are clear about everything. Well, I understand I attend the weekend course once a month and that I can book a bench in the fashion workshop at any other time. 
You have a computer at home for the distance learning? Oh, yes. I have the necessary equipment for making video calls over the internet already. It's the flexibility of the distance learning over the internet that is very useful. And what makes it even more interesting is that I don't have to spend a lot of time traveling to and from the university on the Wednesday. I can adapt it to my own routine, as I will be able to do the theory over the internet from home when I want. The same is true of booking a tutorial online using Skype. Yes, it is amazing, isn't it? It's in its infancy, but it's been up and running for a year now, and it's going rather well. Can I just ask if it's possible to have a face-to-face -face tutorial at any time as well? There is no reason why you shouldn't be able to. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30. Now listen carefully and answer questions 26 to 30. What about the assessment for the distance learning? I take it that it's the same as for the other program? Let me see. Each month you are expected to keep a written course diary and to present a seminar paper and at the very end of the course there will be a written exam which will account for 30% of the total marks. What about the coursework? How much does it account for? The design portfolio, which you need to present at the end, accounts for 50%. I would point out just one thing, and that is that on the distance learning program, some tutors like to see the design portfolio twice each term to make sure you're on the right track. But of course you can take it in at any time to show your tutor. And as part of the assessment for the portfolio, you have to present at least one fashion item at a fashion show at the end of the course. Is there anything else? No, that's it. Thank you for all your help. No problem. Hope it all works out well for you now. That is the end of section 3. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Section 4. You're going to hear a short talk about the banks in Britain. As you listen, complete the statements by writing no more than three words in the spaces provided. Now you have some time to read questions 31 to 40 first. Good afternoon everyone. Thanks for turning up today to this short talk I'm going to give on student banking. Many of you are unfamiliar with the way banks work in this country and today's talk should give you a few starting points. Well, as you probably know, you'll need to open a bank account while you're here. The safest place to keep your money is in a bank. Choose one that is near where you study. All the major banks in Britain offer special facilities for students and will be only too happy to explain how to open an account. The most useful type of account is a current account. You can pay in money received in any form and then draw it out when you need it by using your checkbook. Writing out cheques in their name can make payments to other people. If you want to draw out cash for yourself, make the cheque payable in your own name or to cash. A cheque crossed with two parallel lines is even safer as it must be paid into a bank account. Payment by cross cheque has the added advantage that when the person to whom you have given the cheque presents it at a bank, it will eventually come back to your bank and provide proof of payment. Most people now ask their bank to supply only ready-crossed cheques. Most banks don't make charges if you keep more than a certain amount of money in your account. However, you shouldn't overdraw on your account. Withdraw more money than you have in, without the bank's permission. If you borrow money from the bank, there will be an interest charge. You will also have to pay a small charge to convert foreign currency paid into your bank into sterling. If you have more money than you need for month-to-month -month expenses, it is a good idea to open a deposit account for some of it, where it can earn interest. This interest is taxable, but if your bank knows that you are not normally resident in Britain, then you do not pay tax on it. You can't pay by cheque on a deposit account, and to withdraw money, you should give the bank seven days' notice, or you'll lose seven days' interest. When you have established yourself as a satisfactory customer with the bank, they can issue you with a cheque card. 
This is really an identity card which guarantees that correctly written cheques up to the value of £50 will be honoured by the bank. A cheque card can be very useful as many shops and enterprises, particularly in London and the cities, will not accept a cheque unless a cheque guarantee card backs it. You can also use it with your cheque book to draw up to £50 cash from almost any bank in Britain. If you also ask for a Euro cheque card, this can be used in the same way to draw cash from most banks in Europe. Many banks provide dispensing machines, generally set in the wall of a bank outside, where you can draw cash when the bank is crowded or closed. Provided you are a satisfactory customer, the bank can issue you with a cash card, which allows you to draw up to £100 a day. That is the end of section four. You will have half a minute to check your answers. Các bạn cần chú ý, mỗi ngày luyện nghe nhất từ 30 phút nếu có thời gian hãy luyện từ 1 đến 2 tiếng đồng hồ. Các bạn thấy video ngày hôm nay như thế nào? Hãy comment ngay phía dưới để thấy biết ý kiến của các bạn nhé.